Testing firm and field day presenter Spirant is being acquired by Viabi Solutions for around $1.2 billion. Spirant is uh, being acquired in an all-cash transaction, and it's expected to booster Viabi's testing labs to provide even better assurance solutions for customers. The move comes as Spirant has seen revenues fall over the past year, and the UK-based companies uh, being picked up due to weakness in the British pound. Viabi will receive a $400 million investment from Silver Lake Capital as part of this acquisition. Now, Tom, Spirant has a long and interesting history. Um, what do you take of this? I take it as Viavi realizing that they needed to add some additional pieces to their testing portfolio and kind of round out their labs. And let's be fair, if I'm a company that's wanting to do some testing today, am I going to want to go to a company that is extremely focused on one very narrow aspect of this? Or am I going to want to go somewhere where I can get like the whole soup to nuts kind of uh, solution? And I know which one I'm going to pick, honestly, even if it's a little bit more money, because then that way I know that I'm getting a whole complete round of this testing. And let, I I loved Spirant when we got to look at them all the way back, what was it, like Networking Field Day 4, when I was still a delegate at Networking Field Day. And it's it's fascinating to me to see kind of how the whole testing methodology and things like that work. But here's the problem. Testing methodology only works when customers are willing to pay for it. And I think that that's where we're starting to see things in the market kind of narrow down a little bit. I mean, according to the reports, be, I'm sorry, according to the reports, Spirant, their revenues were down like something like 33% last year. And when you couple that with the fact that the British pound is a whole lot weaker now, thanks to other things that are going on, it's almost like it's a bargain to pick up these companies. So when you look at what the what the transaction amount was, it was really like right at 1 billion pounds. So do the math, it's like 1.3 billion US dollars. But that's offset by a $400 million investment from Silver Lake Capital into the Avi the CEO of the Avi used to be at Silver Lake Capital. So I think that this is kind of Silver Lake going to them and saying, hey, we want you to make a run of this as a larger company. We're willing to put our money where our mouth is. But maybe kind of the undertone is that if something doesn't work out, we have enough pieces here that we can package them up and sell them off as a separate entity that we can use to recoup our investment and then kind of see where things go from there. Now, that's not to say that that what we're offering here is not good. I mean, it is absolutely great when you look, you know, these two had similar overlap, but not enough of a similar overlap where it feels like that we're taking a competitor out of the market with this acquisition. In fact, I think what it's going to do is it's going to augment those pieces. And it's really going to allow these companies to kind of grow and challenge some of those really big giants out there that are, you know, kind of focusing on things like 800 gig Ethernet or 5G or whatever AI assurance is going to end up looking like. I think that having them as kind of a neutral third party, if you can say they're neutral, or at least they don't work for these companies, is a way to kind of provide value to people who want to get these things certified. So I'm actually kind of bullish on this acquisition. Um, and of course, it's two field day presenting companies. So how can I not like to see uh, companies succeed like that? So, you know, we'll definitely keep up with this. And who knows, maybe we can get them back to a future field day and we can talk about all that cool testing stuff again.